Hi, I'm Sherry Foster. I'm Kimberly Sherrod. And we are the Real Estate Group 316 at Keller Williams Greater Columbus. Uh, welcome to our Friday series, series chit chat, what have you. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about the market and why you should use a professional if you are in need of short selling your house. Well, Sherry, one of the things about, uh, one question we get asked a lot is why should I re use a real estate agent if I'm going to do a short sale? Two reasons. Number one is, first of all, the banks will not allow you to do a short sale without a professional real estate agent. They want you to use an agent that is very educated and aware and knows how to do a short sale. And the second goes into that, that you really need to use someone that is experienced. There are a lot of um, details that go into this that you need to make sure that you have a good real estate agent, a professional real estate agent, one that is educated, and one that really primarily that's what they do is short sales. Sherry and I and our team here at the real estate group do uh, a ton of short sales. We are very successful in getting them closed. We also um, do traditional real estate. We have two others that work with us, Michael and Lori, that are also professional real estate agents that work with our buyers and listings. Sherry and I also do traditional listings, but we primarily put our focus on short sales so that we can stay on top of the market and help you get your home closed. The one issue that I have with agents that do not know how to do short sales is that they risk putting you into foreclosure because they don't know what they're doing. They don't get documents in, or they don't call the lenders, or they don't do the things that they should do, and the next thing you know, you're facing foreclosure. The other topic is this, is that uh, I was reading an article in the um, dispatch recently. It actually came out uh, yesterday. There was an article also uh, from Realty Track earlier in the week that I read, and there's a couple of interesting statistics here that I'd like to share with you. Number one, this is comparing June of this year versus June of last year and how the statistics are looking. In Franklin County alone, there have been 676 more foreclosures filed than compared to last year, which is saying that the banks are moving, that they've worked through this backlog of this robo-signing that they had where everything basically come to a stop and now they're working through that and they're moving forward. They're filing more foreclosure notices. Another interesting thing was that um, the foreclosures, actual foreclosures in the first half of 2012 were up over 10% versus last year. So that's just another indicator that is reinforcing the fact that foreclosures in the central Ohio area are up this year compared to last year. There was a little bit of a law because of some legal happenings uh, across the United States that caused banks pretty much to stop filing foreclosures, work through those issues. Many of you may have heard it was called robo-signing. That's all done. It's all finished. And now the banks have figured out what they need to do and they're moving forward. So if you've been sitting in your home for three, six months, a year and not worried about them filing foreclosure, you're gonna get a foreclosure notice soon. The other thing was, statewide, in the state of Ohio, foreclosure filings were up in June across the state 16.4%, and for the first half of the year across the, uh, the state of Ohio, they were up 8.6%. This particular article that I read in Realty Track earlier in the week stated that they listed the top 20 cities across the United States for foreclosures that have gone up. And do you know that Dayton was number one out in the state of Ohio? Dayton was number one, Cleveland was number two, and Columbus was number three out of those uh, 20, top 20 metro cities. So it is happening. Just to recap everything we talked about, you need a professional real estate agent to do this for you. It's very complicated, and it needs to be done by somebody that knows what they're doing and has a vested interest with you that's representing your best interest to get your foreclosure postponed so that you can do the short sale. Call us, call Kimberly, call Sherry. We want to help you. We're here, we're one of the top real estate teams in Central Ohio that do short sales. Don't call an agent that does not know what they're doing. We clean up a lot of messes. 
So if you want to get a hold of Sherry or I, check us out on our website, www.realestategroup316.com, or you can give us a call at 614-944-5960. Thank you for stopping by today. We appreciate it. We look forward to the opportunity of serving your real estate needs, and we are the Real Estate Group 316. Thanks a lot, and have a good day. Thanks.